Even when you weren't in the room, you were still in his heart Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Ummah never is out of the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So whether you lived in his time or not in his time, and even if you lived in his time, how many times did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pray for us without us ever hearing it, but the one who needed to hear it heard it? Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions that one night the Prophet was not in the bed next to her. And she said, I started looking for him. And of course, because it was dark, she said, I started moving my hand around. So she said, I ended up with my hand on his foot sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his foot was upright, meaning he was in a place of sajda. And I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, A'udhu bi ridaka min sakhatik wa bi mu'afatika min uqubatik wa a'udhu bika mink la uhsi thana'an alayka anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. The very famous dua that we should make every single night, I seek refuge in your pleasure from your anger. And I seek refuge in your forgiveness from your punishment. And I seek refuge in you from you. And I cannot praise you as you have praised yourself. Meaning my praise is always going to be insufficient and your praise for yourself will always be greater, O oh Allah. This was the Prophet ﷺ in his sajda, and we cannot capture how many of those du'as were for himself and how many of them were for his ummah, but we know his essence Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And there are narrations that are so remarkably consistent about his du'as inside the house and outside the house. And this is particularly where you find the Sahaba mentioning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one time, in sujood for so long that they thought he was dead. How long would you have to be in prostration and how still would you have to be for people to think that you were dead? And that was the case of the Prophet Sallallahu And when they asked the Prophet Sallallahu what had happened as he raised his head, Rasulullah Sallallahu was crying alayhi salatu wasalam. And Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet Sallallahu and he asked the Prophet Sallallahu Allah has sent me to you to see why you are crying. And the Prophet ﷺ was crying for what? Ummati, Ummati, my Ummah, my Ummah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Jibreel alayhi salam to the Prophet ﷺ to tell him, fi ummatik. We will please you with your Ummah. Wala nasu'uk. And we will not disappoint you with your Ummah. That's him on the outside of his house wasallam. On the inside, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says, I one time saw him standing up and repeating the same verse over and over and over again. He prayed the entire night with that one verse. And Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha has a similar narration. And Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu would spend the whole night reciting, in to adhibhum fa innahum ibaduk wa in taghfir lahum fa innaka anta al-aziz al-hakim. If you punish them, they are your slaves. And if you forgive him, verily you alone, O Allah, are the Almighty and the All Wise. And the Prophet sallallahu would make dua for us throughout the entire night sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the most beautiful narration in this regard is one where Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says, I saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa one day in a very good mood. And Aisha radiallahu anha, as we've already established, she knows the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the miracles of her husband sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when you saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam happy, what would you want to ask him? You would say, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for me. Wouldn't you say that to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if he was in front of you, if he was in your house? Wouldn't you say, Ya Rasulullah, can you make a dua for me? Can you pray for me? Can you pray for us in this gathering? So Aisha radiallahu anha said, I said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for me. And so she says that the Prophet وسلم, then raised his hands and said, Allahumma khfir li Aisha. Oh Allah, forgive Aisha. Ma taqaddama min dhanbiha wa ma taakhar wa ma asarrat wa ma a'lanat. Oh Allah, forgive all of Aisha's sins, the previous ones and the future ones, the secret ones and the outward ones. SubhanAllah. So the Prophet وسلم, made dua for Allah to forgive everything for Aisha. Anha. Remember when Aisha asked the Prophet وسلم, why he was crying, and the Prophet Sallallahu explained to her that he was being grateful. And she said, Allah has forgiven you for all of your sins. So that's the greatest thing you could ask him for Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Aisha radiallahu anha said when he made that dua, I was so happy, I smiled and then I laughed and then my head dropped in his lap Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So think of the scene, Aisha radiallahu anha in joy in the lap of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he is happy and he's in joy. And he says to Aisha radiallahu anha, Ya Aisha, are you happy because of my dua? She said, how can I not be happy with the supplication? How can I not be happy with this dua? 
And the Prophet ﷺ says, Wallahi innaha la da'wati li ummati fi kulli salah. I swear by Allah, this is the dua that I make for my entire ummah in every single prayer. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.